The Grandstream GXP 1625 SIP phone. One of the most popular and widely used SIP phones on the market today. And this video is gonna show you how to set one up for your PBX or your cloud service. And hi everyone, this is Chris with Accent. Back again here for another one of our how-to videos. This one on the GXP 1625 this is a widely used phone for its price point and its availability. Believe it or not, it's a top 15 seller on Amazon and widely used by Accent when delivering our cloud services. Before we get going, I just wanna remind everyone to please like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow us along for more how-to videos. We've got a great series on different Grandstream and Yealink set up in how-to videos, as well as some of our own cloud features that you can browse around on our channel. You can learn more about Accent at accentvoice.com. And uh, let's get going. So the GXP 1625, as I mentioned, a very broadly used uh, telephone in today's market. And we've got an unconfigured phone. And today we're gonna get into the web interface and we're gonna configure that phone register it to our cloud phone system, and then make and take a couple calls just to prove that we did what we said we were gonna do. Before we get over to the web interface, as always, you're gonna to wanna to grab the IP address of your phone, hit the center button, and browse down to status, it's the second option. Click status, and then network status. You wanna grab your IPv4 address. Make sure you write that down. We're gonna need it when we get to the web browser here momentarily. All right, we're just gonna hit the left arrow to back out to the main menu. And your phone should look something like that. Again, this is a factory reset and unregistered phone. Let's jump over to the web interface and get this thing configured. Okay, so we moved to our PC here and opened up uh, Google Chrome and we're just gonna browse to that uh, IP address that we wrote down from previously. Throw that in the browser and here momentarily the web interface of the phone is going to come up. Here it is and we're presented with a username and password. If you are using a factory defaulted phone, your username and password are both going to be admin. You can click login here and here we go. So we're in, this is the status page. Most SIP phones will start you out on the account status page and show you that we've got no registration at all. That's what we're gonna do today. And um, you can browse through different settings on the phone, but account one general settings is where we wanna be. So accounts, account one general settings. This is where we're basically gonna give the phone our account information that we got for our phone system or our cloud service. As always, make sure you talk to your phone system administrator or your cloud provider, get some credentials, uh, set up for your IP phone. In this case, we're just going to name this 3403. Uh, extension 3403 is what we're going to be using today. Uh, SIP server, we're going to be using connect.accentservices.com. And uh, that's the name of, that's the DNS address of our cloud server. Uh, most uh, phone systems are either going to have a, a DNS address or an IP address similar to the 172 or 192 address that uh, we used for the web interface here. Of course, that depends on what kind of phone system you're trying to access and whether or not it's on-premise, uh, a PBX or an IP PBX, or a cloud service like we're using today, which is the Voice One Connect Cloud. All right, so we're gonna go down to SIP user ID. This is specific, again, to the phone system that we're using. Ours is 3403-accent. The Authenticate ID is the same. You need both of those. Our Authentication Password, this is unique to the extension and the phone system. We'll put that in there. Some phone systems or cloud providers call this the SIP secret. Make sure you ask and verify what you're supposed to be entering there. And then we'll name it, we'll just call it 3403. Then we'll give it a voicemail user ID of 3403 as well. 
to tell the phone system that when I'm dialing voicemail, this is the extension that I'm wanting to access. Make sure the account is active. We're going to save and apply. All right, successful. Let's jump over to the status page, account status, and we are registered. Again, we're registered at connect.accentservices.com. That's the Voice One Connect cloud service. Your phone system may differ, or your cloud service may differ as well. Here's our SIP extension ID, 3403-accent. We are good to go. From here, we're gonna jump over back to the phone and check out the registered IP phone, make a call, and then wrap it up for today. So here we are with our registered GXP1625 phone. Again, we're using extension 3403. The GXP1625 doesn't give you a whole lot of visual indication that it is registered. So the best way to tell is just try to make a call. We're gonna turn on the speaker and dial an extension. And we've got a ring back and we hear the soft phone in the background ringing as well. So I think we're good to go here. So we've got the 1625 phone registered from here. It's um, a matter of just playing around with the phone a little bit. Uh, it's kind of limited as far as feature keys. You've got two programmable buttons, a couple of hard-coded feature keys. Uh, but for the price point and um, the reliability of the device, it's a, it's a nice uh, entry-level IP phone, good for um, you know, your basic, uh, you know, basic employee workstation, uh, lobby phone, uh, kitchen phone, those types of things as well. If you want to check out more on the Grandstream series of phones, including a great how-to series on the GXP 21, 35, and 2170s, you can check us out at AccentVoice.com and on this channel as well. Also, for any more information regarding our cloud services at the, uh, the Voice One Connect Cloud, where you can get started with the GXP 1625 on a cloud service for less than 20 bucks a day, a month. Um, please check us out online and follow us and like us on this channel. And check back here soon for new videos and how-tos on quick setups of other IP and VoIP devices. Thanks. Have a great day.